What's up everybody, Army Boy here and today I'm going to be showing you how to get the Soul Collector achievement. So what this achievement is, there are 25 gnomes on the map Hillbilly Horror and you have to collect every single one of them by shooting them. Uh, I found this achievement uh, easier using a firebug because instead of shooting, you know, directly, uh, with the flamethrower you can just sort of spray a whole area and you will get them. So you can do this on any difficulty and on any length, there's no time limit to it. All it needs to be is on the hillbilly horror map. So as soon as you spawn here down the front, there's one inside the uh, mailbox thing here. Let's kill some zombies, excuse me while I do that. Run over here, there's another one inside the washing machine. You can just see his hat sticking out there. Now, these are very, very sneaky. A lot of the places where these are hidden, you need a very keen eye to see. Alright, run over here to the left, you can see there's three in the field there. I actually spotted those ones on my review of this map, um, and pointed those out then. Alright, uh, run over here, there's this big lorry, McGubbins thing, I don't know, whatever. And there's one in the back of it, there you are, there's another one. Alright, 19 more to go, see we're flying through already. Run into here, there's a lot of blood and guts and crap hanging from the walls. There's one hanging down, and if you look closely, you can see one through the floorboard. So shoot that one as well to save time. Alright, come out of there, run up the back here, and there should be one around here. Okay, it's a little bit further back. Yep, yeah, there he is. I can just see his head sticking out. There he is. Boom. Oh, fuck it, I missed it. <laughs> Alright, that's 16 down already. We're doing pretty good. Oh, I found a hand cannon. Very nice. I realize a lot of people may already have done this, but uh, whatever, there's no reason why I can't do it as well. Okay, double back down here, trying to do this as quickly as I can. Like I said, there's no time limit, but the sooner you can get them done, the better. Uh, don't think there's any in here. Alright, run out to the back where this sort of balcony thing is. There's one sitting there just by the water's edge. Okay, now if you double over here, there's one just inside there amongst that trash pile. Alright, 14 more to go. Let's keep on rocking. Okay, head down here to where this garage thing is uh, next to where the traders. You open the door. Oh, look, there's one inside the car. Now you have to hit this from the left-hand side of the car to actually get it. You can't uh, hit it from the right side. Um, I've tried. You just basically shoot the window and it doesn't do anything. Okay, run over here. I can already see this one from the distance. There's one just outside the porch of the house. Shoot that one. I missed it first time because I'm an idiot. And there, got that one. Okay, run over to the other side of the house just next to the trampoline. There's one in this, I don't know, bowl thing. I don't even know what that is. All right, run inside the house. Uh, there's one over here in this blue room sitting next to a TV. Got to get that one as well. Okay, so that's the only two inside the house. We come out and head towards the barn. Head upstairs inside the barn. If you look just between that hay bales, boom, there's another one. All right, nine more to go. We're ra racing through these. Okay, so come out of the barn, head towards this little house. You'll find one just inside the bushes. I actually got that one with the flamethrower on my first attempt, so that was pretty good. Okay, if you come back round just by the trampoline, uh, hold on, just kill those zombies for a second. Uh, you can just see the one poking his head out. Boom, there we go, alright, only seven more to get. Alright, so back near the spawn, uh, if you go to the right of the one in the mailbox, there's one sitting there just on the chair of the forklift. Shoot that one, alright, only six more to go. Double back round here, this is right near the beginning of the map, just outside the uh, chop shop where the car is. You can see there's one sitting in the back of that trailer. Okay, you can't hit it from that angle. There we go, got to shoot that one from the left hand side of that vehicle. Here's another sneaky one, uh, there's one just sitting inside there of the trash pile. This is on the right hand side of the garage that you can see there. Okay, so if you go on top of the building just next to the trampoline and jump inside the building here, there's one down the right hand side of the bed, so get that one while you're in here. Okay, so if you run over here towards the uh, glowing green stuff, you can see there's just one sticking his head out inside that trash pile. Uh, got to kill more zombies. 
Okay, so this is probably the most sneaky one for this achievement. There's actually one just over the back there next to the trader. It's very hard to hit, but uh, that was the one I actually saw on my review video, yet I didn't shoot it because I was convinced that it wasn't one you were supposed to get. But yeah, you can get that one. It's quite hard to hit, but if you jump up and down, you'll hit it pretty quickly. Okay, so very last one on the list, run back inside the house, you can see him just there sticking his head out from inside the door. Bam, all gnome souls have been freed and there's the achievement, Soul Collector. Alright, cheers for watching, I don't often do achievement guide videos and I doubt I'll ever do any more, but thanks for watching, don't forget to comment, subscribe, do all that other crap that you do. Alright, cheers for watching, okay thanks, bye.